So getting on the topic of a little bit about Transformer toy gimmicks, uh, you know, we've had so many over the years. We got Headmasters, Target Masters. I mean, to me, Action Masters is kind of a gimmick. Power Masters. I consider Rub Symbols a gimmick. Uh, we have, uh, in G2, we had color changing, uh, Transformers. We had, uh, Rotor Force to where they have little, uh, blade spin missiles and stuff. So, and, you know, and of course, Pretenders is another gimmick, you know, and thinking back on it, I'd, I'd have to say that I, I see no practical appli- you know, advantage in a lot of those gimmicks for Transformers in, in canon, you know, but, you know, on the battlefield, so to speak. But pr- I, except for maybe Pretenders and like Power Masters, I see advantages in those. But as far as like Headmasters, especially, I, I see no advantage of that. I mean, what's, what's the advantage if your head just jumps off your body? And you're a force to transform into vehicle mode during combat. What if your head has an attitude that day and he wants to run off? You're stuck in alt mode. <laughs> or if you're if you're a target master, your gun wants to run off. You know, so I don't see really much advantage of that. Toy wise, they were fun. I like the little uh, tech spec readers on their chests. Uh, as far as the gimmicks that I'd like to see return, uh, course pretenders. I would love to see pretenders come back. Uh, Power Masters was a cool gimmick too, and but I'm not sure if they are bringing Pretenders back. We, there's rumors, we see listings for an Iguanas and a little core class Skullgren and stuff, but we don't know how that's going to play out. If that's going to be real Pretenders or those little piddly Prime Master things that they came out with a couple years back. Uh, but I'd have to say Pretenders were my favorite gimmick. I, you know, I know a lot of people. I'm in the minority. A lot of people didn't like Pretenders. I love some of the sculpts on those guys. Like, uh, for, <clears throat> if you think about like the shells, those, uh, first Decepticon pretender shells had some of the best sculpt work. I mean, this is before McFarlane. And if you look at, uh, like Bludgeon's outer shell, it was amazing. The, the detail and the sculpt work. And he was even articulated at the neck. Uh, so. <laughs> I mean, it looked like something, and I'm telling you, in the late 90s, I belonged to the McFarlane Collectors Club, and I, I was an adamant spawn collector. And those sculpts, at least uh, for Bludge- or Skullgren and, and, and bots like Bludgeon and, and, and maybe even Iguanas and a, a couple others, those sculpts were insane for their time. You're talking late 80s. Um, but let me know in the comments section uh, what you guys think if you... Uh, What's some of your favorite gimmicks? Why do you like them? What would you like to see make a comeback? Uh, personally, for me, if, as far as pretenders go, they'd have to be a Voyager shell with a core or deluxe size body. You know, of course, we'd like to see the articulation, but I'm less keen on articulation than I am on being faithful to the spirit of the original Transformers and those gimmicks, those original gimmicks. Um, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. Uh, let's get some kind of dialogue going, um, and I appreciate you listening to this segment. If you like what you hear, please make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you are subscribed, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what you hear, give me a thumbs down, but let me know why in the comments section. Thank you guys for listening. Appreciate it. Tell all our one.